Hello, welcome to Arty Makes. I'm going to show you how you can make a Christmassy pop-up pal. Now, this one's not very Christmassy, is it? That's just Mario. And you would have seen um, him and Hello Kitty in a previous video where I showed you how to make some pop-up pals. So I'm going to show you some more Christmassy makes a little bit later. Oh, there's Pikachu. His ears always stick a little bit, but I still think he's really cute. Okay, so let's get a bit more Christmassy with some pop-up pals. So for this make, you're going to need all these bits and pieces. Some scissors, I've got some new ones I'm gonna try out, I'll let you know what they're like. Some glue, ruler, a very sharp pencil, some pens or pencils, just something to color, a rubber, maybe some decorations, that's not essential. And you will need some paper. Now I've actually got some card, some thinner blue paper and some blue card, but the main thing is the white card. Do you know what? It doesn't have to be white. It's whatever colour you would like to use. I'm using white and it will become very apparent why very soon. So the first thing you need to do to your piece of card is to fold it in half like this. Okay, so there you have the opening and you have the fold line. So along that fold line, you're going to do some measurements. So you're going to put your ruler zero along the top bit there and you're going to mark down two and a half centimeters from that top line then go nine centimeters down and then the bottom one is 14 centimeters now i recommend sliding your ruler in a little bit and doing those measurements again so two and a half nine and 14 centimeters right this will mean that we'll get a straight edge when we do measurements in from the fold in a moment so if we measure from the bottom now, and we're measuring from the fold line, we're going to measure six centimeters there, and then six centimeters from that line there. And we can actually draw that in. And we know that will be six centimeters from the bottom edge because we measured in a moment ago. Yay! To move your ruler up to the next line, and you're going to measure in two measurements here. The first one is going to be five centimeters but you'll also need to make a line on here, a point on here for three and a half centimetres, which I haven't done yet, but I'll realise that in a minute. So this top one, you're also going to measure in three and a half centimetres from the end like that, from the folded line, just like that. This will all make sense very, very soon. You'll understand. Okay, time to use my brand new scissors. These ones have got a bit sticky I keep getting bits of sellotape stuck to them. So I ordered these um, from uh, Fred Alders and uh, I'm gonna try them out. They've got titanium blades and they're supposed to be um, really, really, really good. And they're not supposed to get bits of sellotape stuck to them. So that'll be good. So let's give them a go. Oh, I do like a new piece of equipment. Anyway, what you've got to do here is you've got to cut along that line to the end of it where you got the um, six centimeters, wasn't it? Now on this one, you're going to cut all the way to the five centimeter mark. And on this one, you're going to cut to the three and a half centimeter mark. And those scissors were really lovely, very nice and easy to use. Okay, so now we need to make some folds because our pop-up pals pop out. So if you line up the end of that line to the mark you made at the bottom, you can just use your ruler like I've just done there to make sure that the line stays straight. And what you'll need to do is fold it both ways and then on the inside of your card like that. So next, this is where I realize I haven't made a measurement. So I need to measure five centimeters from the end there in from the fold really, I should say. Then I'm gonna put my ruler against those two marks like that fold back that flap to make sure it's nice and straight, fold it back the other way, wiggle it around a little bit and then push it inside like that. Okay, so I've now got my final part to sort out and I'm gonna do exactly the same. I already had my three and a half centimeter line marked there so I can just do the wiggle and then the push through. Right, so I have my pop-up 
all ready to turn into something. You might have guessed what I'm doing, or you might have seen already because it will be on the thumbnail, won't it? But I am going to make something that is white, that tends to be this sort of shape. And I'm going to put all the details on now. Okay. Oh, nearly forgot one final measurement to do. So along that top box bit, you're going to put your ruler and measure up four centimetres from that cut line. Now this will again become apparent very soon, but that will just mean that our picture is um, well measured and looks good at the end. So I'm just going to draw a line along there and that will help us with our drawing that we're going to get started on now. Okay, so you've probably guessed what we're doing or you've looked at the thumbnail, but yes, we are going to make a snowman. So I'm going to start drawing on the features and I'm going to start with these coal eyes, making some sort of oval shape coal bits and a nice pointy carrot. And then I'm going to do a nice coal face a fancy bow tie for my snowman but of course you can do a scarf it's whatever you'd like to do and the good thing about drawing coal when I just drew did those buttons then is you don't have to be very accurate with the sizes they can be all different sizes can't they so now it's a case of coloring this in you can see why I used white card now can't you because I'm not going to need much coloring in now I'm going to speed this bit up so that uh, you don't get to board watching me doing this. So you can see I've put a little piece of paper inside that fold there. Now some of you may have seen the pop-up pals video and you will see that by doing this it's going to mean that the colour from my felt pen is not going to go down to the next layer. So it will keep it nice and clean I suppose. So here's the ribbon of the hat. My snowman is wearing a fancy top hat but a woolly hat would do as well obviously got a matching bow tie for him doing the bits of coal this is gonna be so quick to do I'm gonna rub out that bit so that the line doesn't come through from the pencil and there is my snowman so at the beginning of the video I said I had some sort of thinner blue paper now this is why I did that now the first thing I'm going to do to this is fold it just like I did with the white card and then I'm going to put my uh, snowman picture with the uh, pop-up bit inside and line it up along that folded edge. Now if I draw through this a bit like a stencil I will be able to use this blue paper to make it look like the sky in my for my blue for my blue man for my snowman what am I talking about okay so using my scissors again oh, I'm so excited about using these I'm just going to cut out that shape so that I can stick it over my snowman so I'm going to keep these little bits so I'm going to cut them out quite neatly I do like my scraps I'm sure I can come up with something to use these for very soon so look out for these blue scraps in a future video so that's two and then the final one is nearly done like this now I want to give a bit of a snow effect to the bottom of my picture so I'm going to tear this bit off like this I'm going to keep it low at one side and then just build it up just slightly where it would meet the snowman just like that so it would just give it a little bit more of an authentic snowy edge You'll see in a minute what I mean. So that all gets torn off and I'm ready to stick this on over the top of my snowman and he will be revealed in the middle. I think it makes it look a little bit colder, doesn't it, using that sort of icy blue. So if I put glue over this, this should stick nicely and uh, save my felt pens, won't it? Because I could obviously do this with felt pens too. So I'm going to go quite close to the edge of the cutout parts to make sure it keep, keeps nice and snug against the snowman. And then just one sweep in the middle there like that. But I'm sure you know how to do some gluing. I'm just double checking just in case you don't. So all the way round and then a blob in the middle. Donk, like that. Okay, so this is 
a little bit tricky because you're dealing with something a bit sticky and quite thin. This is very thin paper that I'm using. You could use thicker paper, that's entirely up to you. So make sure you line up that middle crease and then carefully line up that top bit and make sure that your snowman cutout part doesn't overlap too much on the snowman. It will overlap a little bit, but you can always trim those off. And while the glue is still wet, you'll be able to sort of ease it into the right position. So that's looking all right. It's looking a little bit scruffy on the edges, but we'll come to that a little bit later. So there's our snowman. Now I need to now add the rim of his hat. So I can just draw that over the edge on that blue bit. Because you might have been thinking before that it looked a bit strange that he had no rim of his hat, but it wouldn't have shown through, would it? And then I need to do his arms. And I'm going to pretend that my snowman has got some twig arms. So just drawing those on with a brown pen and making it look like it is coming from the, the main bit of its body, like that. And they're doing the other one. I think this makes my snowman look quite friendly, like he's going high with his arms out really high. Oh, I'm going to put some knobbly bits to make it look a little bit more like a twig or something that's been shoved in the snowman's body. There we go. To his fingers. And I think we are done with our snowman. So it's just a case of checking that it's working and that it's looking all right. And I can add some decoration now. I've got these fab little snowflakes and I think I'm going to stick those on there like that. Now I'm also going to use something else that I didn't tell you about at the beginning. I've got these little foam sticky pads and what these will do is these will make the snowflakes just stick out from the background a little bit. That is not essential. That's why I didn't show you these right at the beginning. If you've got some, brilliant. Or if you haven't, don't worry about it. You can just stick these on with some double-sided tape or some glue, or you could even draw them on. If you want to make them stick out, then a good way to do that is to use a little bit of cardboard from like a box or something. And that has the same kind of fatness, thickness is probably a better word, to uh, make the decoration just appear like it's sticking out from your background. And it is a nice little effect that you can do if you want to. So I'm not going to overdo the snowflakes. I think that's probably enough and it just gives it a little bit of interest. But the main thing on this picture is the snowman and I don't want to detract from that too much. OK, so now we are nearly finished. In fact, you could finish here if you wanted to, but I think this will actually make quite a nice card or a decoration. So I'm going to use another piece of paper. I'm going to use this dark blue paper. Oh, it's actually more of a royal blue, isn't it, I suppose. And I'm going to fold it just like I did with the other two pieces of paper that I've used today, the card and the paper, into a card shape like that. And that is going to go on the back of my snowman picture. It will just strengthen it and it will also make sure it looks a little bit nicer too. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to go any glue over the snowman part of uh, my picture. And you'll also see that I'm doing one side at a time. So I've put glue on one side and then I'm going to do the other, making sure that the crease is in the middle. And there we have it all done. Now, it does look a little bit scruffy at the edges, but other than that, I'm quite happy with it. So I need to just trim those off. Again, I'm speeding this up because um, I do this in a little bit of a strange way and I don't really want to see you to concentrate on that too much. Just getting used to the scissors, you know, of course. So here we have it, our snowman. Now, if you wanted to, you could write a message on the front and you can write a message on the inside as well, of course. But that's worked out quite nicely. Now, I need to show you the others that I made, don't I? OK, so this red one has Father Christmas in it. Now, he's got a nice big belly. That's the, the biggest part of it. So I've used different proportions, a small box at the bottom, big one in the middle and then a rectangular one on the top for his head and there's plenty of room to write a message on that. Inside this yellow one I have an angel. So I've made this one by doing a diagonal here. So I've made it a wider um, measurement at the bottom and smaller at the top. A box for the head 
and then a skinny rectangle for the halo. And again, lots of room for messages. And this is the final one I did. The most obvious change I made was to do it landscape. I folded it landscape and this is a Christmas tree. So I've not got the base of my Christmas tree sticking out. That's actually still flat. But what I've done is I've stepped up the, um, the folds and done them diagonal just like I did with um, the angel. And they look really nice all together amongst my other decorations. And because I've put them on card, they're a little bit more sturdy. Why don't you have a go at making a pop-up pal for Christmas? Thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and come back for some more arty makes really soon. Take care and happy Christmas. Bye bye.